Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Epic Playthrough of Titan Quest. Here, this is where we stopped, Boesia, just after Halcyon Coast. So we've got uh, quite a bit of exploration to do. Of course I'll be skipping the part, some parts, but uh, there will be uh, plenty of interesting things to show you. I have no idea why it's lagging so badly there. Alright, so we've got, oh my god, that is a lot of... So this and oh I really didn't watch my health there so yeah see this is what happens you don't watch your health and it gets lowered because it wasn't so bad since these guys are not so strong had I been fighting someone stronger you know I could have been finished off how embarrassing would it have been to be killed by these guys I mean they're like one of the weakest monsters in the game and we've got another Zeus Thunderbolt we already completed one in the previous episode I'll show you. See, we've got completed one over here. So yeah, don't need to complete any more. Would be nice to get another piece of Achilles because we've got two out of three here. And here, in Abrosos Farmlands, we met. This is a monstrous boar. This is like the strongest type of boar. You've got, I think, I forgot what the regular ones are called. I think called Raven ravenous ones. Then you've got dusky boar, and then the monstrous boar. And that they dropping a lot of hides here. And the monstrous boar also has um, two monster heroes in this game. They're both monstrous boars. One is Erymanthian boar and one's Caledonian boar. And both of those are from the Greek mythology. Erymanthian boar was the one Heracles had to capture for his fourth labor. And the Caledonian boar was, well, it was a pretty powerful boar as well that a lot of people had to hunt. It was part of some kind of contest. Oh my god, we've just completed the boar hide. It's a good defensive ability there. As a bonus, we've got hack skin over here and epic pristine palmage there. So, yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing too much there. And we've got embodiment of Heracles's might. I think that's the first epic one, epic Heracles might we've found so far. So, we've got nothing to combine it with. And here, I've just dropped the Outriders buckler from one of the centaurs. This is their most infrequent. If she's got quite nice piercing resistance, bonus attack speed. Some strength and dexterity. It's generally a nice shield, nice monster rare to have. Although I don't think it's any better than our current one. No, our current one is better. I think because our current one has points to all points to defensive mastery. Yeah, got a lot of green junk there as well, which will sell. But Outrider's Buckler is quite nice. I'll keep it. Could be useful for another character, or unless you find a very good relic, like Super Shade of Hector. On it, but we're still losing on the offensive side of things, so probably not gonna change it. So yeah, that's like that's a rather prominent, most infrequent that the centaurs drop. Outright is buckler. Here we've got Chiron, the only centaur who doesn't attack us and gives us a side quest. And uh, here it is. Of course, it's a useful side quest to do because it gives you two attribute points as a bonus. Here we are already in a cave where we have to retrieve his bow. A shrine of experience there. That's the culprit who stole his bow. She just ran away. And nothing in there. So this is the final room in here. She's got backup, of course. We can handle them. They're dealing a fair bit of damage if you know this though. I mean, they also spawn those traps. It's usually the hunters may not so do it. They usually have their name in yellow. Though, if you kill the correct hunters, then the trap that she spawned would usually die as well. Yeah, they're doing quite a bit of damage. It kept lowering, lowering my health. I mean, I could still stand toe to toe with them. But, you know. Right, Karen's bow. And I have no idea how that's possible. Just gotta rearrange some stuff because the bow occupies four slots in the line. Right, um, let's return it to Chiron then. Of course, to, don't confuse it with the legendary stuff. I know it's in purple as well. See, we've completed it here. Two attribute points. So, we recently lost quite a bit of strength when we made it. Our torso armor exchange, so 
Yeah, pop a couple of points for strength. But yeah, don't confuse it with legendary stuff because it's in purple as well. Hello there, good sir. How are you on this fine sunny day? They gathered a great offering to Zeus. Who, who, who? Goats and other livestock. That's a lot. Fires were lit. Really? They were ready to wow. begin, and a pack of maenads descended on them, leaving none alive. Wow, that sounds pretty grim, man. Sorry to hear that. If the monsters were gone tomorrow. How many would still die from starvation? I don't know. Homes, uh, hundred people, apart. maybe. It sounds pretty fucked Do up, these man. Monsters fear no gods. It's as if they fear nothing. I know. It's shitty. Yes. I think the arrow has already pierced Greece through the heart. Wow, isn't he a depressive f***? Alright, so to speak to this person. Skill, this gives you a side quest about the master blacksmith. Here it is. And go further, there's another side quest giver here. It's that guy over here. I was on my way from Delphi with some goods to trade. With some goods to trade. Goods abandoned. So all these little side quests there. I see you've traveled a long road straight. Alright, let's sell all the Come green junk we had. I might like have this to club and these greaves. Might keep that. Yeah, some of the stuff is okay. Keep it, maybe give it to another character or something, who knows. Probably not gonna use that. Well, the total speed is pretty good because it affects everything. Your, it affects your attack speed and your movement speed and your casting speed. Alright, let's... And now we're in the olive grove. So, the olive grove, you need to go here to do the proper offering side quest later. But yeah. Yes, the arrow has already pierced Greece through the heart. Through the fucking heart. Pierced it. We're gonna be fighting Arachne at the end of this area. I think I've already talked about Arachne during the normal playthrough. She was this woman who was good at weaving and who had a um, competition with Athena for who's the best weaver. And Athena won that. And then there's several versions of the story. Some say this woman hanged herself. Others say Athena turned her into a spider. So, pff, yeah. Essentially, she's, she's a spider woman. Alright, and we're ready to fight her. Remember that poison resistance is the main one. We've got 20%, that should suffice. I mean, it is epic difficulties. So it's fairly easy here, easier than on normal. We've got Colossus forming. Look at that, we're dishing out a lot of damage already. She's not much of a challenge. See, we even stand in that poison cloud and doesn't do that much to us. There we go. Super mega easy. Let's loot her stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, bosses in epic difficulty, of Act 1 at least, are significantly easier than on normal difficulty. That's a green bracelet, there's no way we're going to be using that since it's for mages, so that's going to go up for sale. It's going to go on the black market. It uh, has a heck loads of gold. And embodiment of Archimedes' mirror, we already had one over here. So combine it, just got third piece needed to complete it. Although Archimedes' mirror is not among the best relics for shields, I think. I like Shade of Hector the most. Sacred Olive Branch, so that's a quest item for the proper offering. And now, this is uh, part just after the Olive Grove, so see that's where the Olive Grove was up there. And don't forget to just turn off the road here for the Goods Abandoned side quest. All you have to do is just kill all these guys, all these undead. They're pretty easy. Festering zombies and stuff. And yeah, these captains. These captains always have earth enchantment. And earth enchantment also spreads to nearby allies. So they can be quite dangerous if they're in a pack. Because then they enchant all their allies. So make sure to kill them first, you know, if you see them. Alright, and after you've taken care of all the undead and picked up some of this stuff around here. You just approach these, these chests and the quest gets updated. Well, completed. And there we go, completed the side quest. And you can help yourself. Of course, there's nothing that good here. It's just primitive chests, really. I uh, just want to show here, we've got a bad monster hero here, Leatherwing. There's 
uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's pff, nothing to be heroic about. It's not really here. It's just a bat that looks bright, you know, flashy like a neon light. And this guy is stuck here in midair. Thanks for your demon's blood. Epic demon's blood. Here we go. That's the first one we found. And the epic de demon's blood in general is a very good monster charm to have. Since it gives vitality resistance. And it's a pretty rare resistance to have. Gladly though demon's blood drops in every act. There's a monster in every act of the game that drops it. So, yeah, just gotta know who to farm. And we'll stop around here. Uh, we have to go through the swamps to get to Delphi, which we'll do in the next episode. So, yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye.